Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you had a nice lunch break and had a look at the posters as well. Uh, welcome back for the second part of the uh, measures and um, uh, coping strategies. We have uh, some interesting talks uh, in this, uh, this session. Uh, and we will start uh, with a talk by So Jung uh, Kunshu. <laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, please go ahead. And uh, before you start, I will give you a sign when you have two more minutes left. It's for all the speakers. Okay. Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name is Shoji Kunisue. So uh, today, uh, I'd like to uh, give you uh, my presentation. So at first, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is this is me. So these four guys are not here. Uh, they are busy. So it means I'm not busy. So uh, originally, to, this presentation was published for uh, uh, Taisoz 2020. So today uh, I'm introducing the latest updated data. Uh, it is great honor to me for to introduce our effort uh, to you. Okay. So uh, we work for a uh, natural gas company in Japan. So today's contents uh, here, uh, five parts. At first, introduction the Minami Kanto gas field. So uh, this figure shows uh, our gas field outline. So uh, Minami Kanto gas field, uh, this uh, dark gray colored area, including Tokyo, uh, also uh, near Narita International Airport. So, but uh, uh, Producing is uh, almost all uh, uh, around Kujukuri Plain, uh, like here. So natural gas uh, producing is uh, pumping groundwater, uh, brine. So uh, it occurs uh, subsidence. So government, uh, yeah. Uh, to monitor the subsidence uh, every year by leveling. So this picture uh, comes from our brochures. I'm sorry, it's uh, Japanese, so, but uh, it means uh, gas and iodine in our field. Uh, iodine, I will later just uh, introducing, uh, it is included uh, in brine. So, we produce is natural gas and iodine. So this picture, uh, you can see the uh, very low land facing Pacific Ocean. So uh, local people worried about the subsidence if, 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 if it occurs. So uh, worried about the tsunami and then uh, heavy rain. Uh, so. Uh, we, we, our uh, natural gas company is very important issue to, uh, for subsidence. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is our facilities. Uh, I show you a example. example. So natural gas wells like here. This is wellhead, and then uh, this is a brine pool and a separator tank. So uh, we have drilled a. Uh, almost uh, 2,000 wells uh, for 90 years. Uh, natural gas and uh, iodine included brine pumping up to, uh, and then uh, transported to a separator tank and then separate uh, natural gas and the brine. And uh, natural gas is transported to a gas station, booster station. And then uh, brine separated to the uh, iodine factory to uh, separate, to extract the iodine. So uh, in Chiba Prefecture, our prefecture uh, produces iodine uh, 
almost 24% uh, world's uh, production. So uh, we are expected to uh, produce uh, not only gas, but also iodine. Uh, in the uh, from uh, aspect of the subsidence, this slide shows uh, uh, land subsidence each five years uh, from uh, 1981 to the recent years. So, red color may uh, indicate uh, uh, subsidence is a uh, particularly large, uh, and, but uh, some places are uh, uh, uplifted sometimes, like here, like here. So, you can see the uh, overall. Uh, gradually uh, decreasing uh, in this area, subsidence. So, uh, I'll talk about uh, uh, methodology. So, what is PDCA management? So, PDCA is uh, commonly used uh, to uh, uh, efficiency and uh, quality control. Uh, but uh, uh, we apply it for management of land subsidence. So, plan P is producing prediction planning, and do uh, as a uh, production executing, and check uh, C as a of monitoring, and A uh, as a uh, modifying uh, model. And for monitoring subsidence, uh, we use a combination of uh, GNSS observation and then conventional leveling. So GNSS reference station we use were uh, installed by government. Uh, and then uh, this one we installed uh, for our new redevelopment area. And then uh, new around there, here, uh, we uh, do uh, conventional uh, leveling. So uh, let's look at the field of uh, application uh, by this uh, method. So this is a new redevelopment area. So we have uh, drilled. Uh, three wells, uh, and then uh, installed a GNSS station are almost the uh, center, uh, center of the field. Uh, and then uh, we did uh, leveling uh, each uh, between them. So uh, plan, at first plan, uh, also the Japanese. So uh, we predicted uh, uh, subsidence at first, uh, and then uh, predict, uh, set up uh, plan in each well pumping like this. Uh, but uh, this is, at this time, uh, subsidence is just a prediction uh, based on uh, uh, using by this model and uh, also uh, surrounding data. So then, do and check. Uh, do. Uh, this slide includes a, a three a graph, but uh, take, a, take a look at uh, this graph. Shows a uh, well A. Uh, the right vertical axis uh, pumping right, and then oh sorry left. Eh? Right vertical axis uh, cumulative subsidence based on the uh, uh, January uh, first, and then uh, left. Uh, horizontal axis uh, through uh, January to December. Yes. So, uh, blue, uh, light blue means uh, planned pumping, and blue me uh, means uh, actual pumping. So, these wells, uh, we started uh, 
pumping at, at first, but then uh, stop. Uh, oh no no no! Keep uh, keep uh, pumping because uh, uh, subsidence uh, of small. But uh, on the other hand, we'll see. Uh, we stopped uh, production uh, because subsidence is uh, occur suddenly uh, faster than our predict. So uh, this uh, to the point uh, is uh, we use uh, we uh, control uh, according to the situation of sub subsidence. So uh, it, this slide uh, indicates uh, uh, results of us 2017 uh, throughout the one year. So you can see that sometimes we change plan uh, like this, uh, production plan change, and then also uh, change production here. But that, but that, uh, this year, uh, fortunately, uh, we uh, can uh, produce uh, under the uh, without uh, uh, excessive uh, subsidence. And finally, uh, a uh, action uh, modified the simulation model. So uh, last slide shows uh, where A. Where A has a uh, we did a, a bottom hole uh, measurement. So we use this uh, uh, water level. So oh, we're monitoring and then uh, 2060 model uh, so modified due to uh, uh, based on the uh, observed result. So uh, permeability distribution we changed like here to newly model. So uh, this new model, uh, we use calculate the next year's prediction. So uh, what worked and what didn't? Uh, right now, uh, we did uh, five wells. Five, we did five wells uh, after that. And then uh, this one, this slide shows uh, from uh, beginning the start, uh, beginning to the production to the last year. So uh, you can see the uh, sometimes uh, different from uh, government uh, leveling from, from uh, our monitoring. I, I don't know why, but uh, uh, anyway, we can uh, control the uh, certain range uh, to the uh, subsidence. So uh, this slide shows a summary of my presentation, but uh, I don't read it all. So red part, red color means a uh, uh, yeah important thing, I think. So uh, as you know, as you can see. Uh, we have uh, generally uh, been able to control subsidence within a certain range so far. Oh, two more. Sorry. Uh, future possibilities. We are now uh, thinking about uh, using a pincer or a rider to uh, intensify our monitoring technology. Also, uh, modeling. Uh, we use a uh, uh, simulator, but uh, uh, I think it could be developed, uh, updated uh, one. Yeah, uh, I think uh, our, we need to keep uh, airport uh, continuously. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for your attention. Thank you very much. Um, questions?
Thank you very much for the nice presentation. I have actually two short questions. If I can, <laughs> yeah, one is that you show that the land subsidence in that area, the gradually uh, the, 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 the subsidence rate uh, decreased uh, very actually gradually. You can see the, the yeah. trend. Uh, my question is that uh, how, because the gas production decreased or the, 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 the brine pumping uh, decreased or, or no? Uh, this is the first question. Another one is that you you uh, modi uh, modify your modeling for the 2017, and uh, you, you mentioned that you you change the uh, pumping and also you change the permeability values, something like that. So my question is that uh, for the permeability in the time scale like one year is very sensitive from like what you said in 2016 to 2017 is a big change, something like that. Yeah, these two questions. Okay, let me respond one by one. <laughs> so first question, I think uh, 40 years or 50 years ago, uh, we have uh, no regulation. So company, uh, if company wants to increase uh, pumping rate, so oh, they do, they did. So that's why uh, subsidence occurred significantly. And then uh, uh, private company like us and local government uh, make, made an agreement to mitigating and uh, preventing subsidence. So we, ha we have a uh, regulation to the uh, pumping rate. So I think uh, it, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it have made major subsidence uh, stop and or slow, slowly. And the second question, uh, yes, uh, basically we uh, changed uh, pumping rate according to uh, modeling, uh, also modeling changing. And then uh, basically uh, today's uh, my presentation uh, shows uh, uh, our cycle basically one year. So, but uh, recently we, a small cycle, uh, for example, every month, so changing, changing, changing. And then, so I think uh, it is difficult, for, sometimes difficult for us because uh, many, many changing. <laughs> but uh, uh, it, it, mm, I think uh, we have to accumulate uh, our knowledge and the experiences. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe it will uh, become a good cycle. I see. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, is it uh, okay for you? Yeah, oh, yes. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I will stay uh, to the end, so please give me a question. Uh, we have room for one more question from the audience. Yeah, you're also a part of the audience, I think. So maybe uh, continuing a little bit on the uh, a uh, question by Xu Yi. So you could also maybe look at these different models because you showed that when you reevaluated the parameterization, the, the changes were quite dramatic, dramatic uh, between the two. Um, so what, what happens if you would look over a 10-year period and then change the parameterization of the model? Would that would it give very different results? Yes. Uh, I think it's uh, case by case. Uh, some area dramatically changed. But uh, in this field, uh, not so uh, big change. So I think permeability, uh, we use permeability as a parameter for the calculating. But uh, basically, parameter is, uh, I, see, I, I want to say, uh, uh, geological uh, conditions. So um, 
we do we want we do not want to change dramatically. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you uh, again for these interesting results uh, from Japan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.